Welcome to our latest video on understanding weak acids. This video is suitable for A-level students. By the end of this video lesson, you should be able to explain the differences between strong and weak acids in terms of their degree of dissociation, making reference to the acid dissociation constant Ka, and you should be able to use the values of Ka to calculate the pH of weak acids. Now in previous videos, we've learned that a strong acid totally splits up into H plus ions when you put it in water. So for example, hydrochloric acid totally splits up into H plus ions. And if we had a thousand molecules of HCl, we'd have a thousand H plus ions. Now in contrast with weak acids such as ethanoic acid, they only partially dissociate into H plus ions when you put them in water. So here we have ethanoic acid splitting up into H plus ions and ethanoate ions. And in water, very few molecules of ethanoic acid dissociate into H plus ions. And in fact, there's about four molecules in every thousand that split up. And that's why ethanoic acid is a much weaker acid than hydrochloric acid. Now to show that ethanoic acid only partially dissociates into H plus ions, we put a reversible sign in the equation. Now in our previous videos, we've introduced the term acid dissociation constant, Ka. Now a weak acid only partially dissociates in water. And when an acid dissociates, it's an equilibrium process and therefore has an equilibrium constant. Now Ka is the acid dissociation constant. And if we have a weak acid, Ha, that splits up into H plus ions and A minus ions, Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus ions times the concentration of A minus ions divided by the concentration of the acid HA. And the bigger the value of Ka, the more dissociation that exists. Now in our previous videos, we've looked at Ka values and compared different acids in terms of their dissociation. We've also learnt that these values often have a big variation in their size, and therefore a new term is considered pKa, which is equal to minus the log of the Ka value. Now the stronger the weak acid, the bigger the Ka value, and the smaller the pKa value. Now in the rest of this video, we're gonna focus on how we can use the acid dissociation constant Ka to calculate the pH of weak acids. Now, when we work out the pH of a strong acid, such as hydrochloric acid, it's a very straightforward calculation because all the hydrochloric acid molecules are dissociated. But if we have a weak acid, such as ethanoic acid, a large proportion of their molecules are undissociated. We can still work out the pH of a known concentration of a weak acid, though, if we know the dissociation constant, Ka, because from this value, we're able to work out the concentration of H plus ions and hence the pH. So now we're gonna look at how we work out the pH of a weak acid solution with a worked example. And in the example calculation, we have a concentration of ethanoic acid of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed and a K value of 1.7 times 10 to the minus five at 25 degrees C. So we're asked here to work out the pH of this solution of ethanoic acid. And this calculation is very similar to the equilibrium calculations that we've undertaken in previous videos. So when starting this calculation, first of all, I'm going to write down under the equation the concentration of ethanoic acid at the start. And it's 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed. And I'm also going to write down the concentrations of H plus and ethanoate ions at the start as well, which would be zero and zero. Now at equilibrium, we're going to let X be the concentration of ethanoic acid molecules that reacts. So at equilibrium, we'll have a concentration for ethanoic acid as 0.1 minus X. And the concentration of H plus ions and ethanoate ions will be X and X. Now Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus ions times the concentration of ethanoate ions 
divided by the concentration of ethanoic acid. And Ka has a value of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5. Now we're going to use Ka to work out the concentration of H plus ions, and then we're going to use the concentration of H plus ions to work out the pH. So from the equations, you can see that the Ka value, 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, is equal to x squared divided by 0 0.1 minus x. Now for weak acids, such a small proportion dissociating to H plus ions, we can ignore the x here in the concentration of ethanoic acid term. So we can actually just put it down as 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 being equal to x squared divided by 0 0.1. Now if we rearrange this, we have 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.1 is equal to x squared. If we square root this, we get the value of x, which is also equal to the concentration of H plus ions. And this value is 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3. Now if we minus log this value, we get the pH. So the pH is equal to minus log of 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3, and that is equal to 2.9. And that's the pH of the solution of ethanoic acid at that concentration, 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed, at a temperature 25 degrees C. So now let's test your understanding of this with some practice questions. So read through the questions, pause the video, have a go at them, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's go for the answer to question 1a and question 1b. So for question 1a, we have a concentration of ethanoic acid of 0 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. So the starting concentration is 0 0.5, and we have 0 H plus and 0 CH3COO minus. And at equilibrium, the concentration of ethanoic acid is 0 0.5 minus X, and the concentration of H plus and the concentration of CH3COO minus is X and X respectively. So Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of CH3COO minus divided by the concentration of ethanoic acid. And if we substitute in the values for each concentration term, Ka is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, and this is equal to x squared divided by 0 0.5 minus x. Now remember, x is so tiny because very few molecules of ethanoic acid dissociate, we can actually ignore the value of x on this bottom term here, the concentration of ethanoic acid. So 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to x squared over 0 0.5. And if we rearrange this, we can get the value of x. So 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.5 square rooted gives you a value of x. And x is the concentration of H+. plus. Now the pH is equal to minus the log of the H plus concentration. And... The H plus concentration, the value of X, is 2.9155 times 10 to the minus 3. And if we minus log this, we get the pH, which is 2.54. So for part B, the concentration of ethanoic acid is 2 moles per decimeter cubed. So I'm going to write down the initial concentration of 2 here. And I'm going to write down 0 and 0 for the initial concentrations of H plus ions and CH3 COO minus ions. Now at equilibrium, the concentrations are 2 minus x, x and x. Remember the concentration of ethanoic acid can be simply expressed as 2 at equilibrium because such a small amount of molecules dissociate. So therefore, Ka is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, which is equal to x squared over 2. If we rearrange this, we get the value of x which is equal to the concentration of H plus ions. So 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 times 2 square rooted is X. And this has a value of 5.83 times 10 to the minus 3. And if we minus log this, we get the pH. 
and therefore minus log of 5.83 times 10 to the minus 3 gives us a pH value of 2.23. So here's our next practice question. Read through the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's go for the answers to questions 2a and 2b. So here we have chloric acid, HClO. And for part A, there's an initial concentration of 1.0 moles per decimeter cubed. And the concentration of H plus and ClO minus initially is zero for each. So at equilibrium, the concentration of HClO is 1.0 minus X. The concentrations of H plus and ClO minus are both X. So Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of ClO minus divided by the concentration of HClO. And we know that Ka has a value of 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8. And that will be equal to x squared over 1.0. Because remember, we ignore the value of x for the concentration of the acid at equilibrium. So x squared divided by 1.0 is equal to 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8. So 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8 is equal to x squared. And if we square root this, we get the value of x. Now, x is the concentration of H plus ions. So if we work out the value of x and we minus log this value, we will get the pH. So x has a value of 1.7029 times 10 to the minus 4. If we minus log this value, we'll get the value for the pH. And minus log of 1.7029 times 10 to the minus 4 gives us a pH value equal to 3.77. Now for part B, we have virtually the same calculation. However, the concentration of HClO here is 0 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. So at equilibrium, we have concentration values of 0 0.5 minus X for the concentration of HClO and X for the concentration of H+. Plus and X for the concentration of ClO minus. Now, Ka is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8, and that will be equal to X squared over 0 0.5, because remember, we don't include the minus X term for the concentration of acid. And if we rearrange this to get the value of X, we have 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8 times 0 0.5, and that's square rooted to get the value of X, and X is equal to the concentration of H plus ions. Now the concentration of H plus ions is equal to 1.2042 times 10 to the minus 4. And if we minus log this value, we will get the pH of the solution. So pH is equal to minus log of the H plus concentration. And if we minus log this value, 1.2042 times 10 to the minus 4, we have a pH value equal to 3.92. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now be able to explain the differences between strong and weak acids in terms of their degree of dissociation, making reference to the acid dissociation constant Ka. And you should be able to use the values of Ka to calculate the pH of weak acids. So that concludes this video lesson. So please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry, which has lots of GCSE, AS and A-level videos, and our Twitter site, at Radichemistry.